Hello everyone. Uh, in the last video, we have created data set for training a layout LMB3 model using PyTesseract. We have done it and manually you have, we have done it using Label Studio. Uh, but for now, we will check it using Paddy OCR. So, what I personally I have also observed that using Paddy OCR, we are getting more accurate text comparing to the other. Uh, OCR regions like uh, Easy OCR, Deseret. I I personally observe that Paddy OCR is giving better results comparing to other OCR. So we'll try to extract the scanned document text and label it using Label Studio using Paddy OCR. So let's get started. First, we will install Paddy OCR framework. So Paddy Paddy framework need to be installed. To install that, we need to run three commands. Uh, I have installed. Uh, 3 python 3.9 and i have created a layout lm model virtual environment using pip env uh, you can also create the create it using if you have already installed pip env you can install it and run pip env shell so it will create a uh, virtual environment where with your same folder name where you are running the uh, pip env shell command uh, to install paddle ocr as if you are already in the terminal you can run this command like pip env install paddle paddle total three commands need to be installed pip env install paddle paddle pip env install paddle ocr and the last command would be pip env install paddle class after installing all these three commands you, you are good to start with the paddle ocr to extract the text from the paddle ocr It will take time to finish installation part. For me, it took around like 5, 10 to 15 minutes. So once the second command is in second command is installed, we go with the third command like pip env install paddle class cla yes this the cla is need to install and we need to wait to wait for completely completely showing of successful messages over here yeah once the installation is completed you can see the message successful messages over here this means you have successfully installed paddle here so now let's get now let's write the code to check everything if the paddle ocr is correctly installed you need to run this uh, you can import from paddle ocr import paddle ocr and call the paddle ocr instance and try to print it what first it will does it will, it will install the all prerequisite models that we need to run it for the paddle ocr so if you are able to run this successfully then it means that you have installed paddle ocr successfully uh, in the terminal you can you might be seeing many text over here and also it will try to you can see the uh, downloading bar over here so it will try to install the already pre-trained models what it parallel has already trained on it so once everything was successfully downloaded you will see the parallel instances in the terminal if you are facing some issue if you are unable to download it you need to manually go to this link and download the file and you can save it in any of the folders and you can pass it as a parameter to the paddle OCR. if you are in any restriction environment or in your, your office environment you can do it like, like that but if you are you, you are using your personal machine and you you can access to open internet this will work fine yeah you can see here paddle OCR instances over here so once the installation is completed and you have successfully seen this paddle OCR instances so it, it has downloaded successfully uh, so for 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 creating the data set we will head back to browser and uh, we will search for any of the any of the scan pdf so here i have i have for showing demo purpose i have gone with the uh, tesla annual report of 2023 okay i will save this report in any of the fold any of my folder
so our PDF is now has downloaded over here so we will write a code to convert all of the PDF email like each of the page to an image and we will store it in the image folder then the image folder need to be passed to padlos here so it will extract all the text over the images and uh, we will convert that into a json file in that json file we will upload the json file to the label studio we will manually label it and export of that json file will be given to the layout lmv3 model as an input so our model will be training on that so let's create uh, python code to convert each of the pdf pages into an images Once you run started, uh, once you executed this code, you will see all the images files will be saved in the image folder as this. So this each of the images need to be passed to bad uh, here. Then it will extract the bounding boxes and will convert that into text. Uh, previously, we have executed this code to check whether the bad here is uh, has been correctly installed or not. So in the same file, we will try to add our code to check whether uh, to get the json file where we need to import it to as a json file so this code I have copy pasted i have also i will provide this in the description box in the, the github link will be provided in the description box uh, and once you executed this code it will create a json file in the same folder with the name tesla label studio input file dot json these files need to be imported in the label studio yeah i think it is downloading and it will take time to install so currently it is processing image one like page one uh, in that padlos here has detected boxes number count as 70 so 70 bounding boxes it has detected I think it will take time to detect all of the pages and to convert that into a JSON file. So I will fast forward this video to directly when it's converted successfully. If you find any errors or failures, you can ping me that in the comments. I will reply, I will definitely reply to that. Once the code execution got completed, uh, the Tesla label studio dot JSON file will be created to use this json file first we will launch the label studio so before launching the label studio in the images.p1 the these files need to be accessible locally like we need to host a server to access this image file so we need to run a bash script to do that first to run the bash script we need to install git bash for that so to check if you have the git bash or not you can click on the a drop down button after display symbol uh, if you don't find any git bash or bash you need to install git bash 